it's Jane RVN and we have another Oski Tips video. This time, you probably guessed, we're going to do some gloving. So before we start, I'm going to make sure I have clean fingernails, I have short fingernails and I have no jewellery. I know that jewellery is special and you might have been bought it for a special occasion and it's a wedding ring, engagement ring, friendship ring. For the sake of your Oski exams, just take it off for the whole session. Don't fail because you forgot jewellery. No jewellery. I have my gloves. So you will take them in. You will hand them to your examiner. They will open them. And you can say you can open them. Only touch the outer wrapper. Don't touch the inner wrapper. Because then they're going to hand this to you. And this session I'm going to do some open gloving. So we've got open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it. I'm going to put my thumb in. I'm going to see. Oh, brilliant. Actually, it's pointing the right way. So open gloving just means the open part is when it faces me. So it means I'm going to put it down. Now, you will get a sterile area to work in. I'm going to break through the two. Take that out of the way. It's a good trick when you're practising. If you think that you're breaking through the tea, say to yourself or say it out loud, I've broken through the tea because you can stop and redo like you can at any point in the exam. But when I'm doing this, I actually practise doing it not touching any of the sterile area so I can flip this down because then I can pick up the bottom of these bits here and push out because then I can touch the inside and I'm pushing down here to flatten the paper and here so all I'm doing is pushing out and the reason that I want to flatten this down is that's not particularly going to affect sterility but if you leave it folded, the weight of that paper will make it come and flap up again. So flatter you do. And do you know what? 15 seconds at the start of the exam. Go for it. I'm right handed. I'm going to start with my right hand. Doesn't matter which hand. Picking it up with my left hand. Sliding in because I only want to touch the inside of the glove. So I'm pushing my hand in. I'm doing it slowly. I'm keeping my thumb hooked under and I'll show you the reason for that later. So you can see I've got a bit of a flappy thumb. So I've got this. So this is where a lot of people get confused. I can touch the outside of the glove to the outside of the glove. So that's great because otherwise what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my hand, my glove's going to go off, my paper is going to go everywhere and it's going to feel doesn't look bad but it's going to feel like oh I'm losing control of this so put outside of glove to outside of glove there it means then I can slide four fingers like that in flip up because when you flip up you naturally create a little space for your other fingers to go in and this is where your thumb comes in now I always do it keeping my thumb out but the point of having your thumb there is that you could touch inside of glove to inside of glove if you wanted I don't because I'm worried about my flappy thumb. So I keep fingers in, thumb out, pull this one on. And all I need to do then is go back and you can spread your hand out, spread your thumb up, make some space. Even if it's just one finger in, back out. I'm going to adjust my fingers and there we go. Or there we go. And that is open gloving and that's with a lot of talking and that's in four minutes so you still have two minutes to do whatever else you need to do practice this you'll get it down to about a minute and a half to two minutes <laughs> 